What's going on YouTube? So it's your boy Big Big. Welcome back to my black universe. You can see, got the black on on me. You feel me? But that's not the important thing about this video. So I'm making this video because, well, one, I try not to use my platform for personal reasons outside of black empowerment. This time it's personal. So a little bit of candor, a little bit of honesty, a little bit of clarity, or should I say transparency. Me and my wife, we've been separated for quite some time. My children live with her. All right, so they got their spot. They got my spot. Now, they do come over here. I go over there. We try to co-parent as best as possible. Well, lately, um, there's been something going on with their apartment because they have no air conditioning. So, it started May 17th on Friday night. The unit went completely out. Um, I told her to call the emergency number. She did. Couldn't get anyone. I came over. Um, I was at a bike night. Didn't go as planned, which worked out. I came by. And it was, you know, sweltering in there. It was super hot. It was like pretty much being in the oven, being baked like a pot roast. So I said, nah, you're not going to stay here. They came, spent the night. Cool. No problem. No sweat, no swindle. Next day, she calls. They said, hey, oh, well, we can't get anyone out here. We got to get permission from management. And I was like, what? And I was talking to my dad and I talked to my bro. And they was like, yo, what's they law that they got to get somebody out there? And um, I was like, oh, okay, well. Let me look all this stuff up before I say anything, really. And I want to bring some clarity to what's going on with that. So now, does my landlord have to provide air conditioning or heating? Follow me. There's no state law. This is for Texas. All right, I'll throw a link below. There's no state law that specifically gives tenants the right to be provided with climate control measures, measures like air conditioning or heating. However, the law... Or the lease agreement may require the loan or to protect the tenant against extreme temperatures or to maintain any climate controlled units. Be sure to review your lease agreement, your city's local ordinances, the repair and remedy state laws that are, require a landlord to fix a problem that materially affects the health and safety of an ordinary tenant. That part caught my attention. So if you go down that same page and you look where it says, Request repairs from your landlord. If your unit came with air conditioning or heating and is no longer working, state law may offer some protections. Section 92.052 of the Texas Property Code requires a landlord, requires a landlord to repair or remedy a condition that materially affects the physical health and safety of an ordinary tenant. Now, we're going to read the rest of this, but let's get into it. So when I went over there at that time, it was like 81 degrees in that apartment. And I looked and you see on the picture, it was set for 71 on cool fan auto. So the first thing I did was like, you know what? Maybe a fuse blew, right? And I went and checked the fuses. One did trip. It tripped a fuse, not blew the fuse, but it tripped the fuse. Reset the fuse, no fan. Okay. All right. No fan. All right. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, maybe need something more than that. So, they came over in that night. We got up the next morning. The office opened up. Hey, what's going on? That's when they, the whole, we got to get management, we got to get permission. This, that, another. So, we go in there, and now it's no longer 81 degrees. It's now like 85, 86 degrees. See the picture? I was like, okay. And that's mine, yes, with the, and the fans inside. You know, circulating the hot air, basically turning into an air fryer. So to speak. It's like, okay, well, we're about to leave, and I see a guy. His name is Omar. And I'm gonna use his name. I don't know his last name, but his name is Omar. And Omar's down there, he's working on it. I try to speak to him, he doesn't speak English, of course. He uses the Google Translate on his phone. I read it. Okay, this was going on. Hey, I'm working on it. We we'll get it fixed. Now, mind you, I didn't pay attention to the unit he was working on too intently. I saw him working on the unit. I asked, was it well, he couldn't speak in English. I did it through the phone, and, and I noticed, you know, first thing I noticed, which I'm, we're going to get back to, is that when I showed it to him, he pressed the speaker icon for the play so he could hear the words being spoken to him in his language. Cool. I was like, hey, we'll be back in an hour. Cool. It was actually back in four hours. It's still hot. Now it's like 86. 80, you know, it's like 89 degrees. Because he's still baking. And it was like, well, what do you do? Office is closed by this time, of course. 
So we come back on Sunday. Sunday, go to Lady. They open up later, one o'clock, and still doesn't get fixed. We're like, "What's going on?" And she's like, "Oh no, he he went in the unit. It's it's ice cold." And so let's go back to the whole him having to hit the speaker button. I also believe this man can't read. Not only he can't read or speak English, but he can't even read Spanish. And I started putting two and two together Sunday. And I was like, wait a minute. If he can't even read his own language, more than likely he can't read the numbers. If he can't read the numbers, how does he know he's fixing the correct unit? Because I showed video, this video right here of the unit. You see how rusted it is, how the other three are going. At the time that I went, this I believe this was um, Saturday, the first clip. So these are the other units, everyone else's units. This really old unit with this old burnt out motor, completely rusted over. It just needs to be replaced. At the you know three of them are going, and there's one that's not. And that's the one that's connected to their unit. I'm not gonna put the the apartment numbers up there because I, I want to keep my family safe as much as possible. But it's like, how does this man know what he's working on, and who's checking on him, who's checking upon his work? So it's Monday, up super early. Because I'm not going to let them stay in there. They go get a change of clothes. Bring the clothes over. We eat. You know, we do what we got to do. They do the homework. What, what homework they have left as is in the school year. We go. I go to work. She does what she can. Come back. We're talking to them. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Now, mind you. Mind you. I was told it's supposed to be after 48 hours. You're supposed to get a window unit. We'll look that up in a second. But let's finish this. This, uh, um. Request repairs from your landlord section. Now, I, we got to the part where it says um, the code requires the landlord to repair or remedy a condition that materially affects the physical health or safety of an ordinary tenant. Now, it says in the next sentence, section 92.056. The other one was 92.052. This is 92.056. Outlines the steps a tenant must take to request these repairs. In order to request repairs under this section, you cannot be behind on rent. And the problem cannot be caused by you, your family, or guests unless it's a result of no more and tear. Look at that unit. It's an old ass train. The paint's faded. Texas Sun has done its work. It, it's done. It's gone. And I've seen what that looks like because where I live, the same thing happened, I want to say about two summers ago from now. So it's about 2022. They own multiple units. The, the, our landlord owns multiple units. All of them are old as hell. So they say, you know what? Instead of spending how much money to try to repair these, let's get new ones with warranties, and we're good to go. Make that investment. And that's what they did. Shout out to them because the, the, those old ass units couldn't keep up with what was going on today. Like they're tired. Once you're tired, man, it's time to retire. That unit is super old. You see how rusted that fan casing is. I don't know if that's actually the fan itself, but if the casing's rusted, I'm pretty sure the winding inside the motor or just as rusted or starting to show that wear and tear. So it can't keep up or it's probably shorted out altogether. Now, let's keep finish. Let's finish reading. This law would not require a landlord to provide you with air conditioning or heating if you didn't have it before. However, it may it might require them to fix a broken unit. Section 92.056 of the Texas Property Code has specific procedures for asking the landlord to fix the problem. Make sure you follow these steps before taking other measures like ending your lease or deducting repairs from your rent. For more information on a tenant's right to repairs, please see the repairs page of our Landlord Tenant Guide. Of course, these are blue, highlighted blue, and I'm going to share the link that I've got this from, exactly from sll.texas.gov. This is the FAQ section. The law can be complex. The law can be complex, so you may wish to talk to an attorney before taking the action. For more information on finding an attorney, please see the library's legal help page. My thoughts is this man is not a legal uh, immigrant. He is a legal immigrant, one which takes away from qualified HVAC techs who have worked hard, who could have probably gotten it fixed sooner, if it was just a simple repair, or recommended a replacement. 
all right? And if it, it is simple repair, if you can't read the daggum numbers on the boxes that are corresponding with the units that are sitting right there, how do you know what you're working on? Now, this is the Dixon. I'm going to say the name. This is the Dixon. We're putting it out there. Because now you're playing not only with my family's lives. I can only imagine someone's Nana, no matter the race, right? Somebody's Nana inside of an apartment. She's limited mobility. She really don't want to live with nobody because she don't like her kids like that. Y'all know how it is. If she can't get around like that, imagine being inside somewhere that's sweltering that's a constant 85 degrees, right, on average. Spiking all the way up to 89 degrees. And you get a three degree reprieve over the night. That makes no sense. All right. Trying to save a few dollars because you want to hire your cousin. Because I believe the lady who in the office that we talked to, I believe she's Latina. And Latinos don't come for me like that. All right. Look, it could be your nana. If your nana was in there and the dude down there don't, can't read nothing and she's about to die and have a heat stroke, you'd be pissed too. No matter uh, the Lorenzo, wouldn't, that wouldn't even be a factor at that point. We have to get away from this real cheap labor because you get what you pay for. You get a person who's constantly buying parts, replacing good parts with good parts and getting nothing done. That's my conjecture outside of the unit not working because that's not conjecture. That's fact. You see the pictures, you see the video, you see uh, uh, what's going on. And this is day number five they're going into. Now, I don't mind my children staying here, but there's a reason why me and their mother separated. Right. And so all their stuff is over there. Everything that they know is over there. So they're uprooted from their home. They're uprooted from what they know. And they're having to adjust over here. All right. This is a failure in our society. This is a failure in the community. This is a failure on this business to maintain the property. All right. So if you guys have any questions or you have any answers, like, hey, this is what you can do. Throw it in the comment section. All right. Um, peace and black empowerment.